Andrew Cohen, born the 23rd of October 1955, is an American spiritual teacher, regarded by some as a cult leader. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Cohen was born in New York City in 1955 in an upper middle class secular Jewish household. Cohen recounts that his life was changed by a spontaneous experience of cosmic consciousness at the age of 16. After pursuing a career as a jazz musician, he began a spiritual quest to recover this experience when he was 22. He eventually met H. W. L. Punja in 1986, a self styled teacher who taught that no effort is needed to attain enlightenment because it is merely the realization of what one already is." At their first meeting, Cohen realized that he "...had always been free." Cohen claimed that Punja declared Cohen to be his heir, and Cohen began to teach as a Neo-Advaita teacher, and gathered a community around him. Within a few years, Cohen noticed that the ecstatic experiences his students had in his presence were limited. Being convinced that he himself was fully free from karmic bondage, he began to demand more commitment from his students, insisting on complete ego transcendence. The change in teaching style led to dissent, and a break with Punja, who was now regarded by Cohen as shortcoming in ethical and enlightened behavior. According to Cohen, Punja insisted that the realization of the self had nothing to do with worldly behavior, and he did not believe fully transcending the ego was possible. According to Punja, karmic tendencies remained after enlightenment, but the enlightened person was no longer identified with them and, therefore, did not accrue further karmic consequences. For Punja, ethical standards were based on a dualistic understanding of duality and the notion of an individual agent, and therefore were not representative of Advaita. For Punja, the goal was the realization of the self, the illusory realm of relative reality was ultimately irrelevant. Cohen did not agree, insisting instead on flawless behavior. As the manifestation of enlightenment, in 1991, Cohen founded Enlightennext magazine under its former title, What is Enlightenment?, which established him as a major contemporary spiritual figure. In 2004, Enlightennext magazine partnered with the Graduate Institute in Connecticut to offer a master's program in conscious evolution. From 2004 to 2007, Cohen served as a core faculty of that institute. The magazine stopped publishing in 2011. After the break with Punja, Cohen's teachings were further developed into "...evolutionary enlightenment", aiming at an impersonal enlightenment which transcends the personal. Yet, the change in teaching style led also to physical force, verbal abuse, and intense psychological pressure against students." The growing complaints from students have been described in several publications from former students and from his own mother. In 2001, Cohen Co. formed the jazz funk fusion band Unfulfilled Desires, in which he played drums. The band played original compositions and standards, and performed in Europe and the United States. They released four CDs, Live at the Iron Horse 2002, Enlightened Dog 2004, Punk Funk 2008, and Plugged 2010. On June 26, 2013, Cohen announced on his blog that he would be taking a sabbatical for an extended period of time. After confrontational exchanges with some of his closest students, who helped Cohen to realize, as he put it, that, "...in spite of the depth of my awakening, my ego is still alive and well." 
On May 12, 2015, Cohen posted an extensive apology letter to his former students on his blog, his first writing after emerging from a two-year sabbatical. In it he wrote about the need to embrace the spiritual principle of agape, as well as eros, and expressed regret for the ways in which his lack of the former in his teaching methods hurt and alienated many former students. In September 2016, after over three years' absence from public life, Cohen unveiled a redesigned website. This included an announcement of his intention to return to formal teaching, beginning with a retreat planned for early 2017. Topic: Teachings. Topic: Influences. When beginning to teach, Cohen was influenced by H. W. L. Punja, who offered a deinstitutionalized and experiential Advaita, comparable to Ramana Maharshi's teachings, which differ from the traditional Advaita Vedanta of Shankara. Cohen credits the ideas of cosmologist Brian Swimmy, Christian theologian Pierre Teilhard de Chardin and the early 20th century Indian mystic Sri Aurobindo as helping him form his thinking about the evolutionary context of the human experience. He likewise credits the "...integral philosopher." Ken Wilbur, with whom he conducts frequent public discourses, with helping him form the theoretical framework of his teachings. He has also been influenced by the spiral dynamics theories put forward by Claire Graves. Cohen was also inspired by Swami Krishnananda of the Divine Life Society in India, and his call in unity there is strength, come together, come together. Evolutionary enlightenment According to Cohen, "...traditional enlightenment is the realization of the transcendental aspect of God, and it often goes hand in hand with the realization that the world is an illusion." Cohen says that he has discovered a different form of "...enlightened awareness," which he claims to be unique. He first called this impersonal enlightenment", to reflect the fact that it was a realization shared between people rather than an individual attainment. He later changed the name to evolutionary enlightenment, both to reflect his belief that it indicates the next stage of the evolution of enlightenment and to convey the creative, world-embracing vision of spiritual awakening as an unending process of individual and cultural development. A fundamental aspect of Cohen's evolutionary enlightenment is the distinction between what he sees as two fundamental, yet opposing, aspects of the human psyche, the ego", and the "...authentic self". In his teaching, ego is defined as "...the deeply ingrained, compulsive need to remain separate and superior at all times, in all places, under all circumstances". The authentic self, on the other hand, is defined as "...the urge to become more conscious". According to Cohen and Wilbur, "...enlightenment." does not refer to an unchanging state, but has to be in accord with an ongoing evolution of humanity, which is the authentic self. According to Cohen, individuals need to recognize that their own spiritual transformation is essential for cultural evolution. To achieve that, in Cohen's view, an individual should strive to realize his or her true self as being one with the timeless ground of all being and with the evolutionary impulse that is driving the entire cosmos." According to Wilbur, evolutionary enlightenment means, "...the realization of oneness with all states and all stages that have evolved so far and that are in existence at any given time." Cohen believes that individuals need to transcend egoism to express the authentic self", 
through identifying the evolutionary impulse as their own authentic self, individuals can transcend ego, and find a deeper self-sense without relying on asceticism or solitude. Cohen's ideas are co-inspired by Wilbur's integral theory, offering an integral vision of the integral evolution of matter and consciousness. According to this theory, human development parallels the evolution of all being. Topic: <laughs> Awards. In 2012, Watkins Books listed Cohen at number 28 on their Spiritual 100 list. Topic: <laughs> Criticism. H. W. L. Poonja, also known as Papaji, the Indian guru who Andrew claims called him his heir, stated publicly that Andrew only spent 25 hours in satsang before proclaiming himself as enlightened. Papaji describes Andrew's claims as the arrogance of his ego and never acknowledged Andrew as a master or heir, but rather described him as a messenger. The mental, physical, and financial abuse Andrew perpetrated against former students, which Andrew justifies as, "...crazy wisdom." are documented in books such as American Guru, Enlightenment Blues, and Mother of God, as well as popular blogs such as What Enlightenment, and Enlightenixt. Some of Cohen's former followers, including his mother, Luna Tarlow, have viewed him as a manipulative spiritual teacher. Tarlow wrote a critical book, called Mother of God, about her experience as one of his disciples. In a Psychology Today article, published in 1998 entitled, Crimes of the Soul, Tarlow recounted how she became a disciple of her son who told her, to give way to him or their relationship would end, and forbade her, to express an opinion on anything. Tarlow said she, knew if I seriously objected to anything, I'd be kicked out and stated that her son, formerly the "...sweetest, sensitive kid, had changed into an unrecognizable tyrant." André van der Brock's Enlightenment Blues, My Years with an American Guru alleges that Cohen demanded large sums of money and extreme and unquestioning devotion from his students, American Guru, A Story of Love, Betrayal and Healing, by William Yenner and other former Cohen student contributors forward by Stephen Batchelor, allege authoritarianism, financial manipulation, physical and psychological abuse in Cohen's community community, and discusses the challenges of healing after leaving the community. Poonja himself has been sharply criticized for too easily authorizing students to teach. One of the tragedies of Poonjaji's teaching ministry is that he either told, inferred, or allowed hundreds of individuals to believe they were fully enlightened simply because they'd had one, or many, powerful experiences of awakening. These enlightened teachers then proceeded to enlighten their own students in a similar way and thus was born what is known as the neo advaita or satsang movement in western culture over the years there were many indications that cohen's group was in difficult financial straits in 2011 it officially ended publication of its magazine enlighten next Cohen was accused of being a cult leader. As of early 2014, the Enlightenext organization's main building on its property in Lenox, Massachusetts, which had been on the market for years, remained up for sale. In 2016, over 200 of Cohen's former students signed an online petition titled, Stop Andrew Cohen Teaching Again including detailed explanations of why they believe him to be unfit to teach others. Works Cohen has written for the Huffington Post Big Think, and Speaking Tree 
Topic Bibliography My Master is Myself 1989, ISBN 1-883929-07-5 Enlightenment is a Secret 1991, ISBN 1-883929-08-3 Autobiography of an Awakening 1992, ISBN 0-9622678-4-8 An Unconditional Relationship to Life 1995, ISBN 1-883929-04-0 The Challenge of Enlightenment 1996, ISBN 1-883929-14-8 In Defense of the Guru Principle 1999, ISBN 1-883929-27 X Freedom Has No History 1997, ISBN 1-883 3929172 Who am I and how shall I live 1998 ISBN 1-883929245 Embracing Heaven and Earth 2000 ISBN 1-883929296 Living Enlightenment A Call for Evolution Beyond Ego 2002 ISBN 1-883929 X Evolutionary Enlightenment: A New Path to Spiritual Awakening, 2011. ISBN 1-59079-2092. Topic. See also. Integral Movement. Equals equals notes. <laughs>